Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to your daily reads for Tuesday the 14th of May 2024. My name's Hem from, Hem from the Self Love Self Care System and I'm going to be doing your daily read today from the original Rider Tarot deck conceived of by A. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. So without further ado, let's get our readings for today. So what I do is I get as an energy of the day card with the angels and I get a problem if there is one and then a solution for the cards. As I said many a time, we don't always have a problem, but sometimes um, a message, I do feel like, no, that's too many. I do feel like um, sometimes the messengers come in and they show us a story as opposed to there being problems in the day. So for today, for Tuesday, let's see what we've got for the energy of the, the day. So we've got the three of wands, and if I link it into yesterday's reading, if you don't know what I'm talking about, do check yesterday's reading. I get the message through from the angels. This is about, they're talking about you being in control of your life. You being in control of the situations in your life as well. That's what they're saying. They're talking about how we, I'm just going to pop this card here actually, my lovelies. Yeah, they're talking about how we are seldom making decisions on our own we're constantly being influenced by the outer energy and the vibration of the world at large and how human society behaves and the angels are saying to me in this tarot reading they're saying that the three of wands has come to you to tell you that you don't have to take just one idea you don't have to take just one thought they're saying to me that for all of you, the energy of today is in understanding there's many different viewpoints and words that you could bring out to express how you're feeling. And they're saying that you're going to now survey everything from the place that you are now in, which is where you've got more information about your life and where it's meant to be going now if this is confusing you you will need to check out yesterday's reading and maybe fridays as well because it will give you a clearer perception of what's happening in this tarot reading today right so this three of wands is highly auspicious for you because it's going to link into you kind of being able to celebrate you've understood where excuse me i do understood where your words and i needed that drink didn't i where your words are worthy of being expressed it's more in yesterday's reading but in today's reading i'm being told the energy of today is about your awakening words that you need to speak out loud and the angels are telling me to say to you guys right look yes it is true there is stuff that needs to be said there's stuff that needs to be brought out yet they're telling me to tell you that actually truly what's happening here is you've stifled a lot of stuff maybe you just need to journal it out right out and get it out of your system of talking to a, to a voice recorder and get it out of you that's what they're telling me to say to you okay and then you've got the two of cups which is great because if you look at yesterday's reading we're in this energy of two things coming together. Now, it's very interesting because if you go back to last week's readings and if you haven't checked them out yet, do check them out. This message is coming again and you're being told you need to bring these two parts of you together. This is what I'm getting. Um, is it two people? Is it an idea? Is it two things that need to be brought in together? Is it two parts of yourself? Maybe there's a part of you that's been pushed out in the wayside and another part of you that needs attention does it need to be fused back in together the angels are telling me to step into your angelic response now this here looks a bit like a rangoli which is like sanskrit writing which is like from the the inner mind which is like divine talking to you and the angels are saying to me divine is talking to you through this tarot reading the divine is asking you to reflect upon who you really are, regardless of what's been going on in your outer circle, in your outer world. All right. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. Now, it wasn't really a problem as such. 
Although the angels are saying there is some kind of conflicting, you're conflicted about what you need to bring together. You're conflicted about which parts of you make sense in this. And you're almost saying in this, like you, you get it. Like I say, it's not a problem really. You get that you need to bring these things together. Yeah, maybe just it's it's only a small thing. It's like these pieces don't want to fit together in the way you want them to because you've got so used to pushing through willpower to have what you want. See, the problem with pushing through willpower to have what you want is you're not in flow with the divine. You're not in flow with the love aspect. You're not in flow with that higher wisdom, which is the higher wisdom of your body, which goes up through your crown chakra. You're not in wisdom with that if you do not kind of tune into what it is, the two things that need to come together back into cohesion, okay? So let's see. Yeah, you see, because there is a solution, but it's, yeah, it's not what I thought. It wasn't what I thought you were going to get for this card, actually. So you've got the two cups here. You need to bring something together, okay? And you need to do this in the, it, this is relationship. They are talking about something in your life so something, some person, some uh, relationship, maybe it's familial, maybe it's friends, maybe it's work colleagues, right? That needs to be killed and there's a constriction in you around it because you're blindfolded to it. You, okay, I want to talk a little bit about family systems here. You're in a family system maybe or a friendship circle system, or commercial or work setting that expects people to behave a particular way. And so in order to cope with that, you have covered your own wants, your needs, and your desires. You've literally got a blindfold over yourself and put your arms across here and gone, I don't need to see it. I can get on with what I'm doing, but I can be blind to it. The yeah, angel's saying this isn't the solution. You can't be blind to where you need to go. You are the person who you are, you hold the ace for the new beginning. You hold that card. You're the person that can let go of the things that are holding you shackled. Now I'm going to say this because for some of you it's really important, and the angels are saying it's really important. But you have lost quite a lot. You are going to lose quite a lot in order to do this. But the angels are telling me this is how it's meant to be for you. This is right for you. It's going to work out better for you. And although it's going to seem like you're being not the right kind of good it is going to be the right kind of good for you and that's what this is about this is about you living the life you deserve as opposed to keeping everybody and all across the, the globe and the network and your friendship circle and your relationships happy it's about you keeping you happy and that's what they're telling me to tell you so there you go my lovelies that is your reading for tuesday the 14th of may 2024 if you've got this far and you've stuck with me please do give me a thumbs up it really helps with this channel and um if you're called do drop a comment in the comments if you've got any queries any questions anything you want to know do hit me up i'm happy to answer them if you're interested in reading with me do check out self love self care system .com. And there you can find out all the offerings I offer. And also do check out the videos that come up and do feel free to subscribe if you're interested to join the party and this lovely tribe that I've got here. Because it's lovely to have all of you on board and to know that you're being connected in. And you'll also never miss the videos I put out. So thank you all so much. Namaste. Have a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow. Let's love. Bye.